Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the D-Arts Persona for the Animation Jiraiya figure, which I was told by a friend of mine that it's a really cool figure, really cool character, and I have to say, I agree. This figure is really cool, not only in that it has a really nice paint job, but it's just got a really unique aesthetic, and I really like it. I think you guys will too. It doesn't come with any accessories other than a stand, so I'm going to get that out of the way right now. There's nothing for me to show you other than the stand. It does have some cool articulation and some cool paintwork though, so let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. The first thing you'll note about this guy is that he's kind of tall. He's about six and a half inches, which makes him just about... Eh, about 16 and a half centimeters. Kind of lanky though, but still really cool design. The one accessory I mentioned was the stand, and that is this, and it's really well done. Very, very cool stand. Super clean paintwork, no issues at all. And then it comes with the standard upright with the three hinges, so very nice stand indeed. Make for a really nice display. And I mentioned the paintwork on this guy, and that's because the entire body is pearlescent. All of this white pearly area is pearlescent. The straps are not, so that's cool. The red's kind of a metallic. And then the camo is kind of like a satin finish. And the camo is done really well, both on the gloves and on the pants. So that's cool. The only issue I have is the scarf up here is really glossy up by the head and then the rest of it is not because it's just molded plastic and it's molded in kind of like a normal matte or satin finish. So that's okay, I guess. It's something I could live with. But I don't think it should be glossy at one spot and not the other. It's a bit of an issue. We do have some regular looking grays and then some metallic grays on top of them. So all in all, it's a really cool figure. The gold, obviously that's metallic. So very cool figure. As far as articulation goes, the head is supposed to move, but this one is totally stuck. I can't do it, and I feel like if I do it, I'm going to break off the ears or something, so I can't. The scarf is on a ball hinge. It'll move around, so you can pose that pretty much however you want to, so that's a cool feature. This thing is actually hinged, so as you're moving the figure around, you can move this around so it doesn't get in the way and looks good, so that's a really cool feature. The shoulders have a ball peg where they connect it to the body, and then a ball hinge, obviously, for the shoulder. Standard SH figure arts or D-Arts articulation. Nothing special there, really. Bicep swivel built into the top joint. We have our single-jointed elbow, but you get better than 90 degrees, so that's a really nice... Nice thing, we don't often get better than 90 degrees on elbows, and I wish we did. You can also rotate it at the elbow if you wanted to. The hands are on big ball hinges. Because the hands are pretty large, and they have these accessories that are connected to them permanently, so you need the extra mobility, and you get it. So that's really cool. And by the way, these are all separate pieces that are glued together, so the paintwork is spotless for the hands and accessory things. That's perfect. No problem at all. Uh, we have a ball peg for the upper torso and a ball peg for the lower torso, so... Pretty good range of motion. I think it could be a little better given how slender the character is, but it's definitely not bad. It should be more than sufficient, so that's fine. The hips have a little bit of a drop down. Not the most, but it's enough to get pretty good range. You can see, you can bring the leg all the way up if you want to. So they do have the, it does, not they. It does have the uh, hinged ball pegs for the hips. A little bit of a thigh swivel there. And I like how seamless it is when you do have the hips all the way up. That looks really good. They nailed it with that. The knees, also almost perfectly seamless, very well done, good range of motion, really nicely executed. Um, we do get a little bit of a swivel in here, so that's that could be useful if you need to do that. The ankles are on a hinge, a standard ball hinge, where it actually connects with a ball peg though, so you get a little extra articulation at the top of the foot, and you can rotate the foot around for an ankle rocker. And you get a toe joint, which... Definitely for this design, not going to be useful unless you're going to have them in the air or something, but I wouldn't try to balance them on that. All in all, it's a very basic figure, but it's a very well done figure, and I think if you're a fan of the franchise, or of the character, or of just unique figures in general, this is one you probably want to pick up. I like it, and I do recommend it. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.